hello guys and welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well um so i recently did a glossier order and i shared with you on instagram that i did so and so many of you were asking me how i got it delivered i can't remember the name of the company off the top of my head but i will leave them in the description box below um i essentially paid for them to ship my us glossier items back to singapore they arrived i was a bit worried at first because i didn't want to tell you guys um unless it was actually um legit but my order arrived and i'm very very happy um do know i did pay obviously a little bit more for the extra shipping and handling and things like that anyway since i've got a brand new box of bits i thought we could sit down and do like a chatty get ready with me with mostly a full face of glossier makeup um, i've been using them for a couple of years now i love their products and I got a few new things as well that I'm kind of going to try for the first time. So, get my cup of tea. But just a quick disclaimer for anyone that doesn't know, Glossier's makeup is very natural. Like, the whole ethos of Glossier is for that natural, fresh face look. Just know that going into Glossier that you're not going to get, like, full coverage makeup. But I do think it looks really, really pretty. And I like the lightweight, kind of glowy look. So, let's start off with foundation. I actually bought the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in G10. This is my first time ever trying this, so I'm excited. I used to use MAC Face and Body, which was also very lightweight. So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to pop it on the back of my hand and use a brush to apply. I also really like applying these kind of things with my hands as well, but today we're going to use a brush. So um, I've been using IT Cosmetics CC Cream Foundation for quite a while now. Normally I always wear really light coverage foundations, so I guess now I'm kind of used to IT Cosmetics because it's more of a medium to high coverage foundation. So it'll be interesting to see how this looks. Already I can tell that it's quite glowy giving the skin a bit of a glow but it is very very sheer i don't think you're going to have much coverage and i don't think this is very buildable either so do just keep that in mind okay this is my third pump going in maybe i'll just use my hand i'm just going to use my hands i just think it's easier i haven't done a makeup video in literally years no i used to do makeup tutorials on my channel all the time it's kind of how i started actually but um i feel very out of practice so I do have quite a bit of pig pigmentation in my skin, especially in my cheeks. They are naturally quite red and I have a few blemishes as well. So you can probably see that my skin still looks like skin. Like you can still kind of see the pigmentation. You can pick up the freckles in the skin still. Um, so yeah, I do like it. I think it's really, really pretty. It's got that nice kind of glow to it, but it is very natural. I think it's really nice though. Let's move on to concealer. I bought the Stretch Concealer in G11. Again, this is my first time ever buying this. G11 was slightly more of a lighter shade compared to the foundation I bought, just because I like to go a bit brighter on, under my eyes. But this is meant to be really brightening. I'm just gonna put this on um, my blemishes as well, see if it hides them. I feel like you just get a lot more precision when you use your finger. Okay, this is with this side done, and this side is without. What do you guys think? Very, like, it's ever so slight, but I think it's really, really nice. It'll be interesting to see how well this lasts throughout the day as well. I think I probably could have gone a shade darker to match the rest of my body. But it is really pretty, and it is really brightening as well, so that is good. I saw these Glossier Sky Washes everywhere. These are like a liquid eyeshadow with a matte finish, and I got this one in the shade Palm. Um, it's kind of this rusty orange colour, and I thought this would be really nice to complement my blue eyes. Okay, I'm just going to use my finger to quickly blend that in, but what I love about Glossier's makeup is that it's just so quick and easy to use. Like you can use your hands to just like blend everything. Okay, let's move on to mascara. I've heard really good things about this Glossier Lash Thick, which is their mascara. And normally I would go for a much thicker wand, but this one is a lot skinnier. I have used this once and I was actually so impressed with, with how well they lengthened my lashes. So let me show you guys. Can you guys see how well that gives the lashes length compared to this one with nothing on. It also separates the lashes really, really nicely. Like it's not claggy or anything. 
I'm actually so impressed. This could be my new favorite mascara. All right, I need to go in and give my face a little bit of color. So I'm gonna use Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. I've been using this for a good few months now and I love it. Their Cloud Paints are amazing. They're basically just like a cheek tint, but you can also use them on your eyelids as well, or even on your lips probably. So I'm just gonna go along the apples of my cheeks. So this just gives a really nice like natural flush of color, which I really like. Also, again, if you're a fan of cream products, these products are just amazing because I have dry skin and I often find that using powders, I don't know, they just leave my skin looking really claggy. But the thing with cream products is that they just blend flawlessly into the skin. Okay, so that is now Beam on the face. They've actually given me two little samples of cloud paint. So this one is a slightly more of a rosy pink shade called Dusk and then a red shade called Dawn. I don't think I'm gonna try the red one just because um, it can make me look really like flushed. So I'm gonna try this Dusk shade. It's more like a creamy peach. Okay, I do really like that one as well. Okay, cute. So, okay, this one's a game changer. It is the um, Halo Scope in the shade Moonstone. This is their highlighter. Again, I've been using this for months. I've just repurchased this one because it is one of my all time favorite highlighters. And at first I, at first I didn't like it, which is really strange. I thought it was like glittery and, and I just didn't like it. But now it's like my ride or die highlighter. So it's more like a gloss. I don't know if you guys can see, but as soon as you put it onto the skin, it just looks so like sheer and dewy and pretty. It's just, it's super natural. But I just love it so much. I can't live without this stuff. If I just pop it onto the higher points of my cheekbones, along the brow bone. You can even put it on the end of your nose. So that is what it looks like. It's super natural, nothing too crazy but all right i think we're almost done now oh i didn't put my lip balm on i was meant to put this on at the beginning it's um the glossier mango balm.com again i love this stuff it's one of my favorite lip balms i was supposed to put this on at the beginning when we started but let's finish off with lips um again this is another repurchase of mine it's the generation g lipstick in cake this is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks this is what i pretty much wear in all of my videos and it's just this really lovely rose kind of nude. Um, it's completely matte. And their Generation G lipsticks actually used to be a lot smaller. I've got an old one and they used to be really thin, but they since made them thicker, which is so much nicer for the lips. You can get, can get a lot more precision and it's just a better shape. So um, Cake is one of my all time favorites. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think down below. I think it looks so like dewy and fresh faced and glossy. So I'm excited that I've got some new Glossier bits. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Glossier product is, if you've tried them before and what ones you recommend. Um, I think it'd be nice to try these eyeshadows in a few different colors as well. Maybe like I can try a brown. I really hope you enjoyed this video and getting ready with me. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, subscribe if you wanna see more from me and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.